Welcome back, nieces and nephews, to GWAP, which stands for Just Everything with Auntie Pookie Podcast. I'm your host, Sydney, or as many know me as Auntie Pookie. Now, welcome, welcome to my podcast. I hope you enjoy it. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. If this is not, welcome back. So on today's episode, I'm just going to do a quick little rundown of a hard conversation I had with some people I know. Um... Just about, do you really love yourself? And I mean in all aspects of life. Like like the goals you've accomplished, the things you want to accomplish, your body weight, the way you eat, whatever it is that you're dealing with. Like, do you truly and honestly love yourself? And when they asked me this question, and we were talking about so many other things up to this question. But um, I thought about it and I was like, hmm. I could say I'm learning to really love myself more because of the fact that the old me used to be a pushover and people would walk all over me. I had no boundaries, none of those things. And now I'm starting to love myself more and really care about myself. And I'm realizing so many things about other people because I'm caring about myself. And this honestly has been an uncomfortable journey, which is crazy because when you really give yourself to everyone, right? You're always saying yes to things and you're letting people do whatever they want when it comes to you. And then you realize like, mm, they're just really using me or they don't respect me or they don't hear me. And then you start to implement those things. You literally start to lose friends and you start to lose family. And then people start talking about you behind your back, even though you find out about it. Like it is so crazy to see what happens when you really start to love yourself. And also you realize too, because I realize this with my with uh, the jobs I've had, I literally have stepped up and said things and I don't, this is me, I'm very strong when I say particular things or I have an opinion about things or I could be passionate about it. I don't necessarily yell at people like I used to growing up because you know, when you're younger, you just, you're just all over the place. When I don't agree with what people are saying, they always turn to, oh, you got an attitude or what's wrong with you? And you could be literally talking like this. And I literally have had witnesses to the way I talk to people and the other person perceives it in the so incorrect way. And then it just causes hostility. But it's just like I can say, you know, I don't even I don't have an attitude. Well, yes, you do. And blah, blah, blah. And, you know, so it's like transforming from the old me is like pretty phenomenal for myself but for others they can't handle it and it sucks because you want to be a better person you want to transform you want to really glow up and grow up and the people that don't take you serious are going to continuously feel as though you got an attitude or you're changing or all this stuff because they don't really like how you are because you're not the person they could use or walk all over or they can talk about in a negative way Hear, hear this. When you change, like for the positive, people are always going to talk about you. They're always going to talk about you, right? But it's like, they really don't have, <laughs> I mean, they got something to talk about, but it's not really like the old talking about like, oh, so-and-so just like this and like that, and they ain't never going to change. And then when you change, they be like, mm-hmm, now she acting all different or he's acting all different. It's like, you can't win ever, it seems like, to people or with people when you're trying to better you and really love you in your authentic self. I say, you know, shout out to the people who are trying to change and make themselves better because they want to be a better individual and they want to grow and they just want to change their environment and that's okay. One thing I want to say is continue to stand tall for you and to realize that it's okay to love you and to care about yourself and it's not selfish And I probably have talked about this in other podcasts, but it's just like self-care is the best care. And you really need to take a step back and realize your worth. And that's with anything. Friendships, boyfriend, girlfriendships, uh, sisterships, all of that stuff. Friendships, learn your worth and really think too, like you're trying to love yourself and to better yourself. Is this person even bringing value to your life? You know what I'm saying? As I, you know, kind of dip into just encouraging you to love yourself, 
Just think of like, if you haven't yet, my podcast on narcissism. People that are narcissistic will tear you down to the fullest, right? And those that are, those of you that are trying to love yourself and grow, narcissistic people are going to always say something's wrong with you. Or, oh, you done changed. Oh, you this. Mind you, they are the only person saying that. And pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the people that are saying these things to you for the simple fact that they're really projecting their stuff onto you. You got to stop letting people do that because that is going to mess up you trying to transform and love yourself. It's so sad because it's hard to love yourself and encourage yourself because you may have been in a situation where you just were treated so badly all the time and you were talked about all the time and you were just you know pretty much abused mentally and physically and emotionally and you haven't even healed from your childhood trauma or any of those things and then you know you're trying to love yourself but everybody else has something to say about it or they're treating you bad man let me tell you something it's easier said than done but continue to work on yourself for yourself because at the end of the day think about this What you do with your life does not affect other people unless it's something really treacherous, like you're on drugs or you're stealing money from your family or friends or whatever, you know, or you are delinquent from school. If you're in like, you know, high school and stuff like that, or if you're abusive to your your loved ones, you know, and the ones you're with and all that kind of stuff, you know, if if what you're trying to do does not affect anyone else's life, do what you got to do. Because at the end of the day, it's your life. You have to live it. One thing that I can say I'm working on is being silent with things because of the fact that I live in a world. And I'm going to say world because that's how it feels. With people who don't take me serious with certain things because I am the goofy person the goofy auntie I'm always making jokes but I'm serious when it needs to be serious for the simple fact that it is important to stand tall where you need to stand tall and then also mixing your personality into those serious moments I feel like that's who God made me you know what I'm saying and I don't need to explain myself to anyone because how I feel about me is how I feel about me and other people's opinions of me don't matter and they my business okay I can't remember for the life of me who told me that but it was probably my my teacher from college or my professor in college who definitely taught me so many life lessons but it's like other people's opinion of you is not your business because what's it gonna do right I'll give an example just recently and I'm not gonna tell the severity of what I found out or heard but it's like recently I, I didn't like something and the person was talking about me to somebody else and I heard them. And it's like, one, you can't whisper. Two, why are you mad that I want to do something for myself that I feel comfortable with, right? So it's like, I get I did get pissed off because I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, I can't even stand tall without someone tripping. Then I had to dial back and say, you know what? People will always be mad at you when you set your boundaries. People are always going to be mad at you when you want to do for you. People are always going to be mad at you when you tell the truth and tell it like it is. Regardless of how the delivery is, it doesn't matter. So regardless of what you're doing, right? Again, people are always going to talk about you. They're always going to say something. They're always going to be like, oh, well, she thinks she better. I mean, I went to college and I had friends tell me I thought I was better because I went to college. It's like, uh, nah. You have the same opportunities as myself. It's just that you didn't take those opportunities at that time. Now, can you go to college now? Heck yeah. I graduated with my bachelor's and one of our classmates was in her 70s. It doesn't matter, right? It's just about where you want to take your life. Now, in closing of all of this, I'm giving you guys some homework to do. And I'm not trying to be your therapist and all that kind of stuff. I just want people to understand that. I have learned so much in my life, in my 33 years of life, and I'm about to become a new mom, like, and going to therapy and reading self-help books and leaving narcissistic relationships, setting boundaries, all of these things. It ain't easy. 
And I want you to know that even though it's not easy, it can be done. Stop with the excuses. Just just go for it. Go for it at full throttle. Because let me tell you something. At the end of the day, when you really, really transform who you are to be a better you, the right people are going to come in your life. The right people are going to support you. You might find a mother or father figure that you've been fiending for because you didn't have that growing up. You're going to find the perfect spouse that's going to support you, even though they're going to get on your damn nerves. Yeah. Yep, it could happen, but it's life. You know what I'm saying? And also, you're going to have that encouragement to encourage yourself because there's a lot of people who have taken their own lives because they feel like they don't have no one. And I'm here to tell you, you're still love. You're still worthy. You're still amazing. And heck, in past episodes, you will see, I have asked Auntie Pookie anything. You can send me a text. Even if you're not wanting to text me about the podcast or being on or asking me a question, whatever, that you would like for me to discuss send a message. Say you're struggling with something. You need support. I always support people. Not even to brag. I just do that because I feel like it's about the people who are there for you, not the money, not the the showboating on social media, none of those things. It's about like, hey, I'm here to support you. I love you. What do you need? So, you know, just just remember that someone cares. You know, and, and it may not be the people that you want to care, but that's OK. So once you really start transforming again and loving yourself, the right people that are really supposed to be there and care about you are going to be there. And the people that's hating on you going to hate and they're going to be there for a reason because we need haters. OK, we need them. And hell, your haters might be your family members or even your spouse. Like, you know, um, it can happen. So your homework is to literally sit down and think about and write down what you love about yourself and what you want to change about yourself and who do you want to be there to support you and really think about a person who really supports you not telling your homegirl who always talks stuff about you or is mad that her man ain't taking you to den taking her to dinner because your man do it every friday like or your homeboy who really secretively wants your girl or your sister whatever find somebody that you can genuinely have that's going to support you because of the fact that it is going to be hard now i'd rather have five people support me than a thousand people pretend to support me and try to sabotage me okay so if you got five good people in your life that really support you embrace those people love those people cherish those people because the real ones are going to stay the fake ones they're going to keep making excuses and then they ain't going to talk to you for 10 years and they call girl i miss you boy i miss you Uh uh-huh yeah Mm -hmm. i bet I bet you do, you know, so think about that. Um, The next few minutes, I'm going to play some ocean sounds for you to just really sit in this moment and think about one, do you love yourself and what would you like to change to get to that level? Meditation is super dope. I feel like it really helps um, clear the mind. And sometimes you might cry, you know, it's just it is what it is. And so try this out. Keep coming back to this podcast and if you, you know, need any support and you don't feel like you have support, you can always reach out to me and I can look into any research for anything you need. Or, you know, if you just need someone to talk to and vent to and be at an event that you really love and you're uh, terrified or scared of stepping out of your comfort zone. And this is your first time trying it like I'm in. Um, I'm so in to be there. So I hope you enjoy this beautiful, beautiful ocean sounds that I recorded when I traveled to the beach.